What's up guys and welcome back or to the channel today is the day we are picking a lift kit <laughs> Thank you. We are picking a lift kit winner. Okay. We'll bark at the FedEx man or something uh, But we are picking a <laughs> We are picking a lift kit winner for our past giveaway. I'm gonna do this live in person I'll show you guys right here uh, so there's no fibbing, no nothing. You guys see that I am physically picking a winner and I will email him or her or whoever all right now. If you guys want to see here are all your guys' orders, how many entries each of you guys have. You want to see here, order 1804 here and stuff. Just say two entries. You got two entries. People up here, order... 1798 you've got eight entries and so forth all right so like here's your row number stuff like that and obviously row number this way uh it goes 20 wide people with like 20 entries um you'll cut back to the next line and keep going all right so what i have here is our random number generator a straight off of google as you can see here so i'm gonna go pick a number this way and pick a number vertically. We have 422 rows vertically and 20 rows horizontally. So horizontally we will go 1 to 20. Horizontally we will go 1 to 20. However, I'm going to do a 1 to 5 how many times I should generate a number. So we will generate five numbers. So we will click five times going 1 to 20. 1, 2, three, four, and five. So row 20 and one to 422. We may not end up with a winner this time, but one, two, three, four, five, 240. So row 240, let's hope you have enough entries to win. 240 and the answer is no. So this is not a winner because you don't have all these entries. We'll go back here, pick a new one, 1 to 20. 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So row 1, we should have a winner this time. And 1 to 4, 22. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Row 265, column 1. Order 265. Order 2051. So this is the back end of my store and I will go to order 2051 here. Wow, I'm actually like, I'll keep showing you guys. Order 20, all right, we'll go back here. Order 2051, Adam. Adam, I can't pronounce your last name and I don't wanna mess it up on camera, but you are the winner. Um, not gonna show your name or address, I will email you, but Adam, congratulations from El Paso, Texas. You are the winner of a new lift kit for whatever truck or whatever you have. I'll be sending you an email. Super excited for you. I, oh man, this could be great. I can't wait to get this shipped out to you. I'm going to send you an email right now letting you know you won and I can't wait to get you hooked up uh, with a lift for your ride. Uh, like I said, guys, stay tuned. New giveaway coming very, very soon. All right, guys, don't want to show you that his email or any information, but I just want to show you guys that I did send him his email. Um, and we'll get his lift kit shipped out ASAP. All right, guys, I just want to say thank you to you all for participating in that lift kit giveaway. Throughout this spring and summer, we're going to have a lot more giveaways between um, more lift kits, wheels, tires, uh, stuff to put in your garage, things like that. I want to do a whole bunch of those, those some, this spring and summer for you guys, even going into fall. I want to get you guys the opportunity to you know get nice wheels for your truck, get your truck lifted, uh, tires for your truck, stuff like that. I want to do a lot of that stuff this summer for you guys. Uh, stay tuned. I'm honestly, I just got a whole bunch of new stuff today and there's other stuff on its way. It'll take a while. So I'm working out details of this next giveaway. May run it. 
may not run it sooner than later. We're working out some details on that. Be patient with me. Like I said, we're going to run a giveaway. I got to work out prizes, details, stuff like that. So it's coming very soon. Sit back. Um, we'll get that running. Hopefully within the next couple weeks here, I got to figure out like logistics and data and stuff like that. So, but today we are doing a lot of paint work on our Chevy here. Uh, I need to come out here. I got our airbrush in there. I'm going to break it out of our toolbox. Airbrush these uh, burn throughs. I'm just going to, you know, kind of fill them in, do that. I could use our little detail gun. However, I feel like uh, the airbrush will give us an easier result, more control in these areas. Once that's all, you know, painted and done, I want to polish out our, our wet sand or fenders, even though it's a great, you know, is honestly a awesome finish. It just, there's a slight bit of peel. Uh, nothing, nothing hateful, honestly. After getting the clear all warmed up and heated up, it lays super nice. This was just like barely any wet sanding with a thousand grit and you almost have a flat surface here. So this is gonna polish out super sweet. I'm gonna go 2,000, 3,000 on this, get this polished. Same thing with all of our door stuff. Polish this out. Uh, so this is gonna be finally finished and done. It's gonna look great. Uh, what else here? Waiting on our front bumper to show up. Then we can do that and our grill. Uh, other than that, yeah. Once all of our paint work is done, uh, we can get our lift on and then I'll get our wheels and tires on the way. Let's get into this. So the situation we have here, obviously, we got a couple clear burn throughs over here. Um, I'm actually gonna wet sand them back. And uh, after that, we have our Harbor Freight airbrush kit. So pretty much I got that hooked up to our pressure regulator because I truthfully, all I know is that we're gonna stick our paint in here. Other than taking our paint regulator off of our paint gun and putting it on there, I don't really know how to regulate the airflow and stuff. So that's what I did. I'm uh, just gonna kind of touch this up here. So let's get into it. So I got two extra quarts of paint and I used this for the hood and tailgate and stuff. All I did was throw a little bit of reducer in here, swirl it around. Um, I'm just gonna filter it into our little airbrush container there. And then this mount should cover everything we need painted and uh, knock these burns out. Um, as you can see, everything's kind of sanded through where it needs to be. Um, and we're gonna get these all touched up right here and right now. Well guys, we pretty much touched up every little spot here that I saw like I, I, I burned through or like sanded off a, a piece of the top and it showed a little like white dot. Uh, sanded that through and to be honest, this is still full. Uh, I'll show you guys here in a second if I can do this without spilling. You can still see it's at the top there. This thing was at the top of the um, jar. So we have a full container still really. I'm trying to debate here whether I shoot clear out of the airbrush or I shoot it out of the mini gun. I'll probably shoot it out of the airbrush, see what we can get. I mean, the people who actually do airbrush, airbrush like ghost, like embedded like paint jobs, that's some incredible artwork. I can tell you that I can hardly keep my hands still with this. I mean, you really got to have a steady hand to get that, uh, those things and all the images and stuff like airbrushed into your paint job. So um, I give those people a round of applause, really, because that is crazy, crazy detail. This is super sweet. 
It's pretty neat. First of all, holy crap, this takes like no fluid at all. I like spilled all over the toolbox, but the amount of activator in here compared to the clear I, I, and how like light this comes out. I'm gonna try my best here to get this all done up. Um, I'll show you guys the results, but I feel like this is gonna cure and do everything super fast. And hopefully this all works out as I planned because that would be awesome actually. So we just finished up the uh, airbrushing of the clear. As you can see, so this outer over spray here, it's a little sticky. I don't wanna stick my hands on it, but what I'm gonna do is honestly, I'm not gonna wet sand any of this first. I just wanna test something out here. Obviously you can see the airbrush does make the clear look really good, but uh, I'm hoping I can polish the fade out. Just polish. Um, I feel like if I wet sand it, when the clear dries, I may risk going into it again and I'll see what I can do. I may wet sand it, I may not. I may just try and polish through it. Gonna see what we can do here and uh, get her all looking uh, factory again. But like I said, uh, gonna run through and wet sand all these other parts so we can polish them out. time I see in the comments that a lot of you want a like a sanding buffing polishing kind of tutorial I'm not the king and it's also not that hard so I'm gonna run you through the situation here obviously if you guys been following the bill when I painted the bed wasn't the best painted the cab and doors got better and then when I painted the fenders hood and other fender uh, it, it, the, the paint laid amazing same thing with the mirrors the paint just laid amazing and flat this is straight out of the gun nothing to it no buff polish nothing this is how it laid so that looks good However, you get up close, it's like a slight haze kind of situation, but we want to get it super shiny. So all that's going to take is a 1,000, then 2,000 and 3,000 grit sanding, and then we will buff and polish it. But my point is in this situation, I just want to show you guys, when you get the paint laying flat, it'll look like this when you, you, know, you sand it out. Nice, smooth color all the way across, barely any effort at all to get to this point. When you sand and polish something that wasn't flat like obviously when I painted the, the doors and stuff uh, I was learning along the way you'll get a lot of this right here which is I want to show you guys this this is like orange peel um, you could sand this flat like I was doing there was a run here uh, that's gone now but this orange peel will show up I'm gonna run through the hood really quick and I'm gonna show you guys the buffing technique and um, stuff like that because I know a few of you did ask <laughs> Good to go to be polished however i am gonna run through this in the morning because our clear is fresh and you're supposed to give it time to buff it honestly it's like a 24 hours before you buff it supposedly but because it was airbrushed on i'm gonna give it probably about 12 hours or less to do with what it needs to do to dry so and harden and cure and all that so i'm gonna let that sit i'm gonna come back out here in the morning and we'll tackle um, pretty much everything. Every little area that needs buffed and polished, we will get to it. Doors will be looking sharp. Fender and hood and the other fender, honestly, will probably be the best looking parts on this truck. Um, tailgate still needs to be done, but it's against the back wall, so we'll do that when it's outside. But um, everything's down to 3,000 grit, super smooth, super soft. She looks good. She's going to look awesome, and we will finally be able to be done with all our paint work on this, and we could get this truck lifted um, in the meantime while we're waiting for our bumper. But I'm gonna come back out in the morning, tackle all that so everything is cured and we don't buff it straight off the truck because that would not be good. 